hosted and self-hosted websites. Have you heard of these confusing web design terms before? Why do they make all this stuff so freaking confusing? Well, more importantly, you want to make sure you're setting your website up right properly because it is way, way easy to set yourself up wrong. So let's sort out these two confusing web terms, hosted and self-hosted, and discover which one's going to be the best fit for you and for your website. What is going on? I'm Jeff from 10tononline.com. If you want to escape the grind, build a fulfilling online business, and launch a better tomorrow, then you are certainly in the right spot. All right, now to help you along here, because I know that all this stuff can be confusing and muddled and it's tough to know where to get started, here's what I've done. I've put together for you a free online business jumpstart guide. This is a completely free and easy to follow PDF guide that gives you a solid foundation, not only for your website, but also for your online business as well. This is a printable workbook where essentially what you do is you fill it out and then you refer back to it as you need it, as you're building your website and as you're building your online business. And this really does become the foundation for your profitable website online. Go ahead and grab your copy right now while you can over at 10tononline.com forward slash jump. And stick around to the end of this video and I'll show you where you can go and what you can do to gain free access to some even deeper training. You don't want to miss this, so be sure to stick around like I say. Okay, so hosted and self-hosted websites, we've got to get this all sorted out. First, let's nail down or maybe clarify what hosted is. What is a hosted website? Well, a hosted website is where your site is hosted with a web service. A web service maybe like Squarespace or Shopify or WordPress.com and similar services. And you want to know something? There are some big nasty problems if you decide to go this route. Where do I even start? Well, how about this? First of all, these services are incredibly limited. They limit you in the number of products that you can offer if you're running a business website. They limit you in terms of the number of web pages you're allowed to have. Some of them even run ads on your website. This is terrible, but worse still is that with this option, the hosted option, you are 100% totally dependent on another business for your business. If they change their policies, if their service goes down for whatever reason, or heaven forbid, they go out of business? Well, I'm sure you can imagine what happens to your business website. Is it possible that this option could get any worse? Yes, <laughs> these sorts of services make it incredibly difficult, if not damn near impossible, to move your website away from their service. Instead, once you build your website with one of these types of services, you are locked in for life. That is, as an esteemed young man who I know would say is, butt cheeks. Thankfully, though, my friend, there is a much, much better option, and that is, of course, to set yourself up with what is called a self-hosted website. Self-hosting means that you host your website yourself. You're responsible for your own website. So here what you would do is you would sign up for web hosting with a reputable web hosting companies. And there's some really great ones out there. I'll leave some links for you down below this video. And then what you would do is you would essentially build your website there, ideally using WordPress and Elementor. Most importantly, though, this approach puts you in total control and ownership of your website and your online business. Going this route, you can build whatever kind of website that you want. You can have as many product offers as you want. You can have as many web pages as you want, and you can decide whatever kind of pricing you want. And yes, you can choose to run ads or not run ads. So I guess you could say that so long as it isn't gonna land you in jail, you can pretty much do whatever you want with your website going this route. As you might guess, this is the approach I have always used for my online businesses and the one that I strongly recommend for you too. So next, if you're ready to get yourself set up 
right properly the first time, then here's what to do. Head over to 10tononline.com forward slash web. Now, there you'll find a business website masterclass. This is a completely free self-paced online workshop where you and I are going to crush, absolutely destroy three big massive myths about web design and running your online business. And we're going to uncover some clear truths here. You're also going to discover how to avoid the biggest mistakes and pitfalls and wrong turns that most newbies make. And you'll get a clear set of straightforward steps to follow. And maybe most importantly, you're going to learn about the best tools and services and platforms to build your website. No advanced techie skills or PhD in rocket science needed here. However, before you jump into your free workshop, you're going to need a couple of things. You're going to need a coffee, absolutely, or maybe some kind of a beverage. I'll leave that up to you. Bring a notepad and something to jot notes with as well, because there's a whole heck of a lot in store for you here. All right, with that out of the way, I will catch you over there in just a second.